Territories Wild is presented by Matthews. Catch us if you can. As the waves crash against the rocky coast, cliffs rise from the foaming saltwater. Fjords cut into the landscape, creating natural harbors for remote fishing villages. Here, the sea gives way to rolling mountains of spruce forest, dotted with the golden leaves of autumn birch. This is Newfoundland, Canada's easternmost maritime province, and the land first settled by the Vikings centuries before Columbus found the New World. Bow hunting pro Tom Miranda has traveled to Howley, Newfoundland, in search of the elusive woodland caribou. Together with Canadian guide Peter Broughton, the team will walk the trackless bogs and scrub spruce ridges, looking for the chocolate antlered bulls that roam these rain soaked muskegs. You know, a lot of guys don't realize that when you're hunting like this, you know, it's it's all about spotting. If you don't find what you're looking for and figure out a plan to go after it, it can be, you know, you can spend a lot of time and waste a lot of calories chasing stuff that you're never going to get on. It's the secret is get up on these high points. Even from this spot here, I mean, we can see more than we can want to walk in a day. <laughs> you see a lot of real estate up here for sure. Yeah. So you keep looking, all you see is rocks, but every now and then one of them rocks will move. <laughs> That's right. That's a caribou laying down or something. I like the one that moves with the big antlers on it. <laughs> with the sticks on his head. That's right. Sporting the smallest antlers of all North America's caribou subspecies, the woodland's body size is still massive. The huge hooves of these caribou allow for easy walking in the spongy bogs and swamps, areas that can be tough for hunters to navigate as they search for wandering boo. We don't have the the huge herds here like they do in some parts of Canada, thousands and thousands in a herd, like what you can expect to see here is anywhere from 10, 15 to 20 caribou in a bunch and you, you do cover some ground when you're hunting them caribou because like they, don't, they don't have the big migration but they do cover some ground here, they're always moving. Those caribou are just on the other side of the hill here Tom. I think what we're going to have to do, we're going to sneak around the other side here, it's going to be slow and quiet. 